and we're back um i've had the crud that's why i haven't been on here but if you look there's a hitch i have made the mounts for my exhaust basically what that'll do your exhaust will stick here this will come here and then I've got this nice building stuff that I'm gonna make uh, You know I drill a hole put that in there do two layers of it and that is more than enough to hold this little exhaust on If you look at my support, you know, I put the battery under I made these tubes uh, This has a nut on the inside and the outside I was gonna have one for this but anyway just leave your nut snooze weld them in place this is a plate still i tapped it and there's a nut on the inside so there's one inch of meat to screw your bolt in put your red loctite on and there you go we've got all this in i've got my mounts a lot of times i just make it by what i got i did weld me a nut so i've got me one inch over one inch right here I got washers so I can line this up and my suspension works. I have not read it yet, ridden it yet, but uh, it'll ride great because it's about the same angle it was. And I've got better shocks because these are 13 inch uh, late model Harley progressives. And if you notice, this has all been made so I can take it off and paint it and really weld it. This would have been a little better here, but I chopped out what the Trike Life had. Tried to use the factory and the body kit won't fit because your factory DNA mounts that you get, which they're sitting over there. Um, they're made to bolt right here. 12 inch shocks is what I used. It rode great, but yeah, it's, <laughs> you can't put the body on. So I scrapped that ideal. Here's my brace, and if you notice, it's it's an X pattern. It gives it really good strength. There's six points. This here. Now it came with this part, but I'm getting rid of this because I want access. Because the trunk's going to go right here on top, and I want to be able to get my hands in here. Now I'll get I'll cut that off. That little metal piece right there. I can see it right there, buddy. I'll well, finish chopping it off, grind it down where I won't cut my hands, and then I can get my hand up in there and bolt it. I could try Zerks, but, or the compression things, which I'm going to put them down here. I'm going to drill me three holes and then put them in, and that way I can bolt the body down. There'll be uh, nine bolts bolting the body on them. Uh, but this kit right here, it supports me just fine. And yes, I put a hitch on it. Might want to pull a trailer. My pipes are going to come out. So you'll have your pipes here, your pipes here, and then you'll have this sticking out. I'm also going to uh, probably wire me up a little piece that will go up in there so I can have some extra brake lights. Because I'll probably have to run it a little while before I get the body painted. I ain't ashamed. I'll, wear, I'll run it open wheeled. I don't care. But if you notice, this is how it works. It works great. Everything fits. Because like I said, I mean, it works great. I'm happy with it. And if it right, it should, like I said, it should ride better than it did. I was ecstatic with how it rode. I still don't know the grazing instructions. I got to call them. Uh, but it's, I can turn this over, then I can turn it upside down. I can weld all my joints better and weld everything in like it should be. And then we should be good to go. But uh, this is where we're at. I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do. If you don't want to hitch, don't put it in there. But I was originally going to go with another piece up through here and come up in here. But I'm sorry if six pieces a quarter inch by inch and a half steel won't hold it the bike ain't gonna hold it i mean i got three eighths and half inch bolts on it you look right there you can see where everything clears if you look down through there 
can see it clears everything clears and crisscrossing them and doing on that uh, if you notice this goes inside that goes outside and everything lined up I'm really happy with the way it is I'll be ready to get it off where I can really weld it up clean it and paint it and then all I'll have to do is put it back on and say a prayer and hope it fits. And then that way I can paint the rest of this stuff up, get it all painted. But uh, I'm happy with it. Yes, sir. We are we are progressing and progressing nicely. Finally, we got the right parts. Um, there was a guy that did a trike life kit, and bless his heart, he used flex pipe. There's your pipe. These are round hearts, and they're two inch pipes. See, that's one thing you want to check. Most of them are one and three quarters, Reinhardt's. Some of them are two inch. Some of them are bigger than that. But I found those pipes. I got me some clamps. They didn't have the right clamps with it. That's what you get for buying used, I guess, or new old stock or open box. I got it at a discount, but eh, not really. But if you notice, I weld all this down. I'll weld this hole up. I'll finish welding that all the way around. I weld this on better. I'm going to probably put me another plate. And I just don't know where I did it. But I haven't been, ah, here we go. Then I'll flip her upside down and weld that on the bottom. And I'll have me someplace for my tote chains. So. The good thing about fabricating is you can build it the way you want to. The bad thing about fabricating is if you don't know what you're doing, you don't need to be doing this. But uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to try to get this up. And like I said, the, the exhaust, is I just came up with that. But if you notice, I drilled a hole right there. And it'll, it'll go something like that. Your rubber will go in there and there. And that should be all right. I might go ahead and put me a piece of steel up in under here and reinforce it. You know, something like that in under there and give it a little bit more strength. I don't think it would ever come apart, but I'm a little bit for overkill. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you. I've been through it a lot, but uh, we're going to get this thing about ready to go out here. Once I get it off and get everything welded and painted, have a good day.